The 12 years that I've spent in this wheelchair have taught me some powerful life lessons and I thought that maybe I should share some of those life lessons with you all. In these 12 years, I've learned that life is so unpredictable. Life is full of unwanted, unexpected series of events. How in blink of an eye, everything changed. How in blink of an eye, my life changed. And how in blink of an eye, I changed. I learned that with all these changes, you become a better person every single day. What life did to me does not define me. But what I became in return, regardless of all the hurt and turmoils and adversity, defines me who I am. And today, with a heart full of contentment, I'm blessed to be where I am today. In the last 12 years, I've learned that this wheelchair has somehow given me an insight. I can read people. And there are three types of people that I've met so far. Number one, people, when they see you facing adversity or trauma in life, these people leave. They don't claim to be yours. They don't even claim to be your support system. They just walk away. I respect them. I respect them for being truthful. Number two, I call these people opportunists. People who try to tag along with you. These people are so weak that they just try to remain in your shadow because they know your strength. These people in front of the world claim that they are yours, but deep inside they all know they are not your people. Pray for these people and liberate yourself by setting them free because these people are toxic. They will always try to come back in your life to get their share from your success. I'll repeat, liberate yourself by setting them free. And when you do so, remember, when wrong people leave, right things start to happen. And then there is this third category that I have seen. People who don't claim that they are your people. People who don't even need to share the limelight that you have. You will always find these people standing next to you, always there with you, for you, without saying a single word. People whose hearts are full of unconditional love for you. These are your people. These are the people that you should truly value in your life. I'm blessed to have these beautiful unsung heroes in my life who have never left me. In these last 12 years, I have learned that pain is not your weakness. Pain is your strength because with the pain comes the healing. Healing does not come to you. It comes from you. It comes through you. So today, if you are in pain, congratulations because you are on the journey of becoming an empath, a person who can feel the pain for others, a person who can heal the world, you can become that person. It all starts from this one tiny step of accepting the pain and embracing it.